there guys, welcome to the Amazing Brick Network. My name's Tori Favreau. I hope this finds you well as we're getting closer and closer to Christmas 2020. It's a little bit exciting, isn't it guys? So I am really happy to present this set to you. It's the Christmas Brickheads and I'm super keen. I, it's funny, you know, because the Lego website actually doesn't have this bad boy on it anymore. It's sold through and I was shopping the other day, as you do, for groceries and it was, believe it or not, it was in a supermarket. So... I grabbed it up and I thought, wow, like maybe you guys can't get your hands on this either. So I thought I better build it so as at least you can have a look at the build and get a feel for it and, um, you know, sort of do the, uh, I don't know, virtual reality sort of building thing. So this is the set. It contains the reindeer, Elfie and the elf and, of course, the North Pole sign there, which is pretty cool. I'm just really glad that I was able to find it. Set 40353 and uh, there's your figures there. There's some of the other figures you can get as well. They are selling out. Most of them are exclusive to the LEGO website. So uh, without further ado, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. But you know what? Let's just get in there and like make some LEGO, okay? You know, just make the stuff out of the bricks. Okay, so... So let's get straight into this build. It was a lot of fun. I really liked the Brickhead series. And the fact that I found this in, of all things, a supermarket, I was really, really happy that I was able to bring it to your attention today. I've sped up the building process as so we don't have to go through the whole thing constantly. But first off, we're going to start with one of the elves now. One of the, rather, I'm going to do both of them. And um, there will be a little interruption a little bit later on. So uh, if you were interested in finding out who won in the 848 lego giveaway this show is going to be interrupted with the winner so just get ready for that as well but this process was a lot of fun one of the things i did like about it as silly as it sounds i like the fact that the elves are a smaller brickhead build so they don't follow the normal aesthetic of you know building them up with uh, the larger bricks to build up the sides i do think that the whole thing it was exceedingly well done and it just brought a whole sense of fun to the entire build so we're starting off with the little dude alfie and just getting him ready there with his jaunty little red hat i hope that you are all enjoying the uh the general builds that I have been doing of the advent calendars. If you've missed out on them, I do release two videos every day and will until the 24th or rather until the 25th of December when of course we'll be celebrating Christmas if that's your thing. If not, it'll just be a day off from work which is sometimes just as good. We all need a break during this busy season and with the way the year's been going as well, it might just be nice to have a day that you can down tools. If you do have to work though, um, then you don't have to uh, worry. I've got you covered. I'll be sure to uh, have some sort of show ready for you then as well. So we're just getting that little side build done there. Now, these are not as ornate as some of the uh, Brickhead sets that you do see. However, that doesn't matter one little bit. I just think that uh, we're getting the elves. We're getting into the Christmas spirit. It is just a lot of fun. They're, the building techniques themselves... You know, they weren't too complex. They certainly weren't anything that presented much of a challenge, except for that top bit there. I really struggled putting that on. As you can see, I fiddled with it for a long time. Remember, this is being played at four times the speed. So I actually took a fair while to get that bit together. But nonetheless, I still managed. You'll manage too. And I have been finding that you guys have been enjoying the fact that uh, I've been able to guide you through some of these builds of sets that you may own and having difficulty with or figuring out how the bricks do fall into place. There we go. So that's Alfie done. Now we'll just get on to the Elf. The Elf, I thought, I didn't enjoy as much as Alfie. Um, I just thought that the hair was pretty ordinary to be honest with you um this set costs 25 dollars uh australian so you know you can convert it into whatever you need to but um it's overall good value for money in terms of the brick count the fact that we've got something christmasy that we can build in the brickheads range which is pretty cool also so there's always something neat to do with these brickheads and they're readily available from uh your online lego store not so much in shops that used to carry a lot of them i don't know if they didn't go as well or if lego just decided to uh keep them in house so to speak but i don't see a lot of brickheads in the shops anymore so when I do get the opportunity to order some stuff from Lego, I always try to add 
one or two brickheads to my collection because they are ridiculously fun. I've said in other shows where I have covered these before, they're quite similar to some of the pop vinyls that you do see out there, but cooler because you get to make them out of Lego. There's that hair I was talking about. I just, I don't know. It looks as though someone didn't care that much about Elf and decided just to give her a little, uh, a little cut with the scissors, you know, just basically line it all up and just go the chop. And I just felt, I generally felt bad, her sense of style. Otherwise, you know, she's looking pretty neat. She's got a cute little suit on with a little gold button and then someone just goes the hack on her hair. Now, this is where I'm making a mistake. If you can have a look there, I'm putting the feet on wrong. When I put it, yep, there we go. I still haven't realized though, because I'm a bit of a duffer. Um, so there, yeah, the feet don't go like that, guys. And I will discover that soon enough when I do make the actual plate for her to stand on. So I'll get it right in just a second. There we go. There we go. And now for our interruption. Hey there, guys. Sorry to interrupt the build, but it's come to my attention. It's come to my attention that we've hit 848 subscribers. Insert confetti special effects. Things like going into the sky, rockets flaring, and the denizens of YouTube celebrating. 848 subscribers, and I promised at that time that I would actually, uh, you know, give away a little bit of Lego. So let me just reach down. I'll break the third wall there with the green screen. All right, so uh, I've got my laptop in front of me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record the screen. So as you guys know that I'm not mucking around. Um, so I will get all that started, and I will actually open it all in front of you so that you can all see to make sure it's all fair. Giving away the Mandalorian Battle Pack, I will send this thing anywhere in the world to one of you. And I look, whether you whether you subscribe for the competition or not, thank you so very much. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. We're having a lot of fun with these Christmas-related builds at the moment. And I will get you back to the Brickheads uh, build that we're doing in just a moment, okay? So, all right. So I'm going to start the screen recording now. And that way there's transparency and you can see what's going on. Yada, yada, yada. All right, quick time, new screen recording. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so first things first, one of the criteria for being in the competition at all was simply to have your subscriptions public so as I could see and verify your subscription. Ironically, out of the 848, and I'm going to hit record now so you can see because I wrote down everyone's name as they subscribed. Okay, so... Out of all the people that did subscribe, hopefully you can see the mouse moving now because I'm not going to sync this up very well, but um, 848 subscribers. Out of that, I could only see, and this is going to up everyone's chances, but I could only see 291 subscriptions with the last one being Sam Roberts. So 291 out of 848, you've just... I don't know maths, but you've doubled your chances and more of winning. So from there, what we'll do is uh, we're going to open this up and go to random number generator. Okay, and I'm going to hit it three times so as no one thinks I'm doing anything stupid and I'll say the numbers as they're coming up. So I was once again. So the third time I generate the number will be the winner. Okay, and we'll jump back and we'll be able to see who it is. All right, so what we've got here, we put in 291. Okay, so generation number one. The first result was 140. The second result, 266. These are not winning numbers, they're just to show I'm actually doing it. Third and final one, number 181. Let's find out who won. This is actually exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we'll jump back to that spreadsheet. Jump back here, 181. See, it's all live. All right, 181. It is Harry Moore. Congratulations, Harry. I hope that you enjoy the set. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing, pal. I hope you're continuing to enjoy the shows. And everyone who entered, bad luck, but there are going to be some others. I'm going to be giving away stuff as I can. Bearing in mind, you know, I'm funding a lot of it myself. But uh, I hope you're enjoying the show regardless. And lucky 181. Um, congratulations. I'll arrange to make sure that you get your Lego promptly. And we might even ask that you take a photo of yourself with it, just so as people know. And all you need to do, buddy, is get in touch with the show. 
um, just message through YouTube and we'll figure the rest of it out. Um, and you'll find a way. Um, the uh, email address is amazingbricknetwork at gmail.com. So you'll better get in touch with the show. But just leave a comment on YouTube and we'll go from there. But you have won the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And I think to be fair, I'm going to give you three weeks to respond. Um, after that, I will simply com compress the prize with the next prize. Congratulations, mate. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. I hope you're continuing to enjoy the shows. And I cannot wait to show you more. And we'll have more giveaways and certainly have a lot more fun. I'm going to stop screen recording. Neil? Okay. Job's done. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's get back to that build, all right? Thank you. Big congratulations. I was so excited to be able to give away some Lego. That's something I want to do a lot more of as the channel progresses. I do think that it's a very nice way of giving back to the community. I was watching a, a YouTube channel of someone who plays a piano last night and uh, they actually ran into this kid who wasn't doing so well and he actually bought him a, like a little piano that he could start to learn. And I was like, you know what, that's the aim one day to be in a position financially, hopefully through this and my other endeavors, that I can just, you know, surprise people with Lego. It's such a beautiful gift to give people. Because, you know, we look at this set and we can see the elf and Elfie and the, the reindeer there. But you might see a car. Like, I don't know. That's the beauty of Lego. You can always swap things up. Now, getting back just to the build there, as you can see, this is more of a traditional larger brickhead build. And it does get accentuated and propped up with those grey bricks uh, with a central core in it as well. So that's more of what I would expect from a brickhead. Though the reindeer didn't have as much um, texturing as you would normally see in some of these brickhead builds. And I'm like, well... I guess there's not much you can actually do uh, to bring more detail in, though. I did like the nose, um, though. I, I don't know. It's sort of from the wrong angle. The white element there does look like fangs. So if you want a vampire reindeer, look no further. It's a, it's, it's a vampire Christmas reindeer brought to you by Brickheads. And me, I guess. I do love the amount of plates that you do get with these. I think that, that look, they look really cool. And if you do decide to not keep this as a set and break it down, you've got all the plates you can use. Though uh, there's probably easier ways of doing that. Maybe just hop onto Bricklink and get a selection of plates yourself because this might be the sort of set that you like to pull out with your Christmas decorations. Um, I'm slowly getting some Christmas stuff together. I am going to be bringing you the uh, Elf Clubhouse build which was an, a lego.com uh, exclusive. So I will be getting that up soon. So as you can see it before Christmas time. Have you got any of these builds? I'd love to know. Just uh, drop a comment below. I always answer. I can assure you of that. And I really appreciate it when people do take the time to comment. Uh, it means the world to me. It lets me know that you're out there. I can tell um, it's been really nice, actually. I can see a lot more people have been actually watching the episodes. And as I said before, I am super glad that it's helping you with some of the things that you're trying to build yourself. I think the ears on the reindeer look really cute. Check them out. Alrighty, so no, that looks really, really sweet. I think they've done a good job there. The antlers weren't as elaborate as I thought they may have been, but they still do the job very nicely. And then we'll get on to the actual uh, diorama part of the whole thing that, you know, you'll get to see what's going on there as well. A little bit of reinforcement in the bottom, which certainly helped. There we go. Now, I did turn the page. This is where I make another mistake because I didn't watch the whole flipping part of the actual uh, instructions. So there you go. Out with the brick separator. Fix that up and then we'll be okay to continue. The texturing here isn't too bad. I mean, it's very minimalistic, but I guess it's enough to let you know there's ice on the ground and, uh, you know, things are a little bit chilly at the North Pole. Now, this is where the stickers came into play because this is Santa's mailbox. I guess they're getting ready to get all those letters from the kids around the world, find out what they're after for Christmas. It's a little bit of a trap, isn't it? As Admiral Akbar once said, um, the whole letters to Santa thing. Write a letter to Santa and... Too bad if you're not in a position to actually, uh, or if Santa's not in a position to uh, buy the multi-thousand dollar item that the child wants. It's a bit of a double-edged sword, I think. It's nice for the kids to write a letter to Santa, but uh, you can't always fill that list, can you, Santa? 
We're heading toward the end of the build now. I do hope that you've had fun watching it. It was certainly fun to make. I genuinely enjoy bringing these to you. They're just a look at builds that you may not normally get your hands on. And so we can share that experience together. And you have to listen to me talk. But uh, in any case, that is the set. We're going to clear it up there. We'll get... Yeah, there we go. They're all set up and ready to go. Double thumbs up because we had a bit of fun. I'll show you some still shots now just so you can see some detail. And yes, I know I put the arrow on the left-hand side on Crooked, but it's just the way it is. There's Elfie. Personally, if I was right, like doing this, I would actually add to that hat. I think it's just adding, a, uh, sorry, lacking a bit of detail. And by goodness gracious me, I would have given Elfie, uh, sorry, Elf something a little bit better to do with the hair there. That's atrocious. But in any case, they were very fun builds, and I certainly hope that you did enjoy them. We're almost done now, guys. But we'll just have a look at one or two, two more photos. See what I mean? They look like fangs. That's a vampire reindeer if I ever saw one. I'm not even joking. Alright, so that is time to wrap it up. Thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, and about 60 to 70% of you haven't, be sure to hit that little button, click the bell for notifications. Until next time, happy building, guys. Yeah.